Our gospel legend Deborah Frazier will be laid to rest in her home town of Durban today. The multi-award winning artist died in hospital in Soweto on the 15th of May after a short illness. During a career spanning more than three decades, Frazier worked with the likes of Chico Twala, Brenda Fasi, Kaifa Semenya and Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Her friends and family say Frazier will be remembered for all her generosity and compassion for people. Ian says Mangoba Mkunu is following uh, those proceedings for us this morning. A very sad day for the family, the friends um, and those who had the opportunity to work with her, Mangoba. Indeed, Rupu, it is a very sad day for the music industry today, having to lay to rest one of the legends and an icon, Umam Deborah Fraser, and that's uh, the person who many have described as a person who was very kind, a person who was very compassionate, a person who was not only dedicated to music but helping other upcoming artists. Uh, we spoke yesterday to quite a number of uh, those artists here in Guazul Natal who say they really learned a lot from Umam Deborah Fraser. She was a mentor to them. In fact, uh, they're saying that she was even a mother to them. She was not only a mother to her two children, but to many upcoming artists. And this is the person that she was, a person who wanted to give back not only to uh, her fans, but also to communities in need. And uh, we're expecting that program to begin around about a uh, few minutes from now. We're told that it's slightly delayed because uh, the family is on its way here to this particular church. But I just want to rope in one of her friends just to give us a sense of the person that she was. Mam Temi Nyandeni, thank you very much for your time. Uh, Asukale Lama, you were a friend of Mam Debra Fraser for many years. Tell us about the person she was. Debra, I can't describe the, uh, Debra because if you don't know Debra by now, which means you have missed out. Because she was one of the greatest, greatest ever mother, uh, sister, uh, songwriter, musician. She was everything to not only me, to everybody in this country. And those who know Debra, they will agree with me that Debra was something else. She would go out without money, without a penny, to give the next person. She will feed the nation. She will take the children from the streets. She will do so many things. I am a friend. I am a sister. I'm, I'm more than that. Because we slept in her house. We hustled together. We, we share our stories. We love music entertaining people we, we we love people Debra was like that Debra was like me I'm, I'm like a carbon copy of Debra tell us about Debra the performer as you've just said uh, that you know she loved music how was she as a performer we know that she loved the fans in fact she even went to perform in a wheelchair that's how much she loved the fans she would do anything for music she was a performer she was an entertainer she was a storyteller with, through her music, she will tell you a story that you don't even know that you have it inside you. That was Debra. I hear Mam Tembinyande, this is the last days of uh, Umam Debra Fraser. We're well, not the greatest of days, but still, she still wanted to make those fans of hers happy. She wanted to perform. Just tell us about some of the struggles, and we do understand that uh, it was really a tough time for her. We all going through tough time in this industry. So it's nothing new. Debra was going through hardships, but Debra was that kind of a person that I'll go down, but I'll wake up and brush myself and go on stage again and perform for my people. That's why she even performed on a wheelchair. You know, if she was not like that, she wouldn't, you know, death is something that we cannot say it's not going to happen. When time has come, there's nothing that you can do. I think she has done enough in this, on this earth. I think God wanted Deborah to come and relax now because she has done it all. This is talk finally the legacy that young upcoming artists should look into for Mum Deborah. What can they take from Mum Deborah? What should they take from the likes of Deborah Fraser? The music will never die of Debra Fraser. You must keep on going by the music. 
and understand what Debra was because through her music you will see what Debra was trying to tell the young ones. I wish they could learn from Debra and go take it to the next level. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Mam Tebinyandeli, uh, just uh, sharing her memories of Deborah Fraser. Of course, she was one of the friends of uh, Deborah Fraser. Just talking about the person that she was, a person who loved performing. Of course, this is what we also heard from the memorial service that was held here yesterday. Many of the people saying that she wanted to perform till the last day. And uh, this is a person that really left an indelible mark in the music industry. And of course, her death uh, being mourned by many of her fans as well as mm -hmm. industry peers. So we're expecting mm -hmm. that program to begin round about a few minutes from now, we're told it's not going to be long before it starts. And uh, really hear some of the tributes that will be paid to this great gospel icon. Mm. And of course, we will be bringing our viewers uh, those tributes live as they are delivered. Man, thank you very much.